federal investigators uncovering a serious problem across this country, dirty doctors. ABC's senior justice correspondent Pierre Thomas has this ABC News exclusive. Rhea Baca says a drug dealer fed her husband's addiction to powerful painkillers. A drug dealer in a white coat, an MD. He knows as a doctor that that could have killed him and he didn't care. She's talking about Dr. Norman Werther. Dr. Werther may look the part of the kindly doctor, but here he is on surveillance video committing a crime. What's your pain level without the medicine? Federal investigators say the exam is just a sham. It only takes four minutes before he prescribes an undercover informant a painkiller. Just pull the oxycodone. Dr. Werther is part of what federal investigators say is a serious and growing problem. Doctors who go to the dark side, prescribing highly addictive painkillers for profit. He gave up his medical license for drug dealing. And Werther is hardly the only dirty doctor. This doctor was caught on undercover cameras writing prescriptions to phony patients out of a rented motel room. Drugs on demand. Please, open the door! At least 300 doctors or pharmacists have been convicted of Medicare fraud in the past three years including about 100 who were busted for illegally writing painkiller prescriptions. Were you surprised that doctors were willing to do it in the numbers that you're seeing? It, it's, it, it's mind-boggling. You know, they start uh, seeing the cash, and they start buying large homes, new vehicles. Mostly it's greed. And greed is apparently what motivated Dr. Werther. He was convicted of participating in a drug ring involving six Philadelphia-area gangs who brought him fake patients, pay them kickbacks to prescribe painkillers, then resold the drugs on the street. Rhea Baca says her husband Nate went to Dr. Werther to wean himself off painkillers. Instead, she says Werther stoked his addiction to collect money for doctor visits. What he was giving him was just an insane amount. Only 27, Nate overdosed. Dr. Werther was convicted of contributing to his death. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Chicago.